speaking with <laughs> All righty. Malik Willis, quarterback out of Liberty. Whoa. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Some yeah. things might be shooken up in Nashville. I mean, oh boy. Malik Willis, I, I look, I, Malik Willis has the, the chance to be great, maybe. But I, I, what I said even when we were scouting him leading up to this is like, it's going to need a long time to get ready. So I, I, don't, I don't hate this for the Titans at all. That's the best part about it. You have a guy, Ryan, Ryan Tannehill, who is your starting quarterback that gives him time to be able to mm -hmm. sit back, learn, understand the nuances of the game, how to be a pro, how to approach game day. All those things are huge for a young quarterback. And now the Tennessee Titans get to slow process this thing versus if you draft him in the first or second round, uh, for being forced to play him early. Yeah, by the way, every single highlight here, as Mina Kimes has said, looks like the biggest kid on the high school team, absolutely dominating, smaller competition, because at Liberty, that was effectively what he was. You're seeing a dude who had to sort of make it all happen by himself in what was a relatively simple offense, even at the college level. He's raw. Like, he is sushi raw. This is a player who is going to have to learn pretty much everything about how to run a pro-style offense of any kind. He's in a good spot, and it's kind of lighting a fire to Tannehill. Well, not a fire. It's like a lighter. It's like a match. But, but what a weekend for the Tennessee Titans in the Nashville community. Yeah. Right? You trade A.J. Brown, uh, but then you bring in a guy like Malik Willis to push your starting quarterback. And I always tell people all the time, now, sometimes – the, the best way to get a player to, to, to play his best or be even better, bring in competition because it, all, it can only do two things, make you fall or make you great. Yeah, I, I think there's a, a moment here for the Titans too where we got a message about their draft strategy. Yeah. Their draft strategy was long term. I mean, it, when, you, when you decide that A.J. is not going to be part of your team this year, and we all know that came down very last second, you're right, absolutely, and we argued about this last night. Traylon Burks might turn out to be everything that A.J. Brown has been. Yeah. We don't know. But it's definitely a it, – it would not be unreasonable to think that that could take a second to happen, I, right? I so love the like landing spot here. Yeah. Yeah, like just to sort of take a step back from it, like think about what Tennessee is investing here, is that you got a third-round pick, which I understand that we thought he could have gone in the first round. But when you draft a guy in the third round, at a quarterback spot especially, like Ryan Tannehill will feel Malik Willis breathing down his neck eventually. But it's not like the minute he walks through the door, it's like, okay, if you, if yeah. you, if you, use, if you take him 15th overall, it's like, dude, it's just a matter of time, yeah. right? Like, yeah. Malik Willis could be a backup for three years and nobody would be surprised by it. Lots of third-round picks at quarterback are backups for three or four or five or seven years, right? So if Ryan Tannehill – plays like he did last year and if Malik Willis develops and becomes the player that some projected he'd become you've got a great situation on your hands like I really like this investment for Tennessee and by the way the cost again that the cost here I keep saying this a, a third round quarterback even more so yeah. a second round quarterback you're paying him like four million bucks for four years a yeah. million dollars a year for a quarterback that's literally that's like practice literally practice squad money like that's crazy that's a that's a I think deal. it's a great, That's a great opportunity and a smart, just good investment by Tennessee. Even if all Malik Willis becomes is a really solid backup for them for the next even if four he years? Does, even if he busts, even right. if he doesn't play, even if he can't make the roster in two years, who cares, right? Like, it's a swing. He either becomes, like, I, I literally, I, I know that sounds ridiculous, but, like, if he is cut in two years, it's still a worthwhile gamble. Still, because how many players that they could have taken here have the opportunity to change the dimension of your franchise going forward? The answer is not many. Yeah, I, I think that's a, a really smart point. And Ryan Tannehill, I, I believe Ryan Tannehill is good enough to win, right? I, I think people are overreacting to some of the difficulties that Ryan Tannehill had compared to what everybody expects. Like, everybody thinks that their quarterback yeah. is supposed to be he the next. He great last year, and he's got he's to turn that – Turn it around. He wasn't great, but he wasn't as – I don't think year. he was awful <clears throat> as is being painted. Yeah, he was pretty – I mean, I just thought he was not great. And um, I think in the AFC, like, what's clear is that, like, you can't settle for, like, he was okay or, like, solid. You got to have great quarterback play. You Can we talk do. about the real winner of this acquisition? Okay. Everyone who purchases Madden next year, what I want you to do, ah, right. set up a spread playbook, get QB choice, put in Malik Willis – and Derrick Henry, and just run that all game long. That's all you're going to do, okay? That's who the real winners are because you can just run the ball like 80 times in a game of Madden, <laughs> and you're going to be able to win because Malik Willis is a quality runner. And they can also have a special package for Malik Willis. When you, <clears throat> mm -hmm. Excuse me. You get down to the red zone, and 
third and short, fourth and short. Um, we see them struggle a little bit late in the year last year when Derrick Henry was trying to come back on th third and uh, short, fourth and short situations, especially in that game against Cincinnati. So you have a guy like Malik Willis. Now the defense has to honor as well because he can run the football. That's also an easy way to just get him reps in situations, right? Like yep. you, you give him a small amount to really get great. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.